Jamaica products within the category of specialty food and why why this is a good idea for us to innovate products in this category and what opportunities are in the market and to highlight the fact that these products or these types of products are available in our Things Jamaica chain of stores. Mm-hmm. So, um, with before, always... Just a second. Before you move and say anything else, give me the website where we can find the suite of things that are available from with the Things Jamaica brand. Right now, before you move on. So give me the website. Website, thingsjamaicanshopping.com. Mm-hmm. One more time. Things Jamaican Shopping dot com. All right. Good now. All right. And um, we are also on eBay and Amazon as well. So persons can look out for us there as a as a seller on Amazon. All right. Um so specialty foods. We we we're always talking about little but talawa and the fact that Jamaica is a small little island and we want to compete globally and we want to send products overseas and we know we're not going to be able to compete with the big brands with the big large scale products but certainly in the specialty food market which is a growing market as people become more self-conscious about their well their health what they're eating and the, the nature of the products that they're consuming right and the specialty products typically don't use a lot of additives and artificial ingredients, right? So that's the first thing. They're usually very high-end in terms of price, but certainly more valuable in terms of how well they treat our bodies. And so as we look at what is important for us to compete in and what type of products we focus on and why things Jamaican would be focused on that type of product in particular, it's because we have the unique qualities available locally to compete in that kind of market. And it is viewed as a very, very high value market with a lot of economic potential. We have uh, our seasonings and the way we grow our crops. Whether or not we think traditional processes are archaic and not capitalist, it's not a capitalist notion Mm -hmm. it is really what we call sustainable development now and having seen how you know our industrialization would have damaged our our earth or you know ecosystem we are becoming more aware of why these types of products are important and why traditional farming practices and traditional ways of producing products may be beneficial in the long run so they may not be thousands and hundreds of thousands of them on the shelf but the nature of them we don't need a lot of them to to benefit right Right. so you're going to find that they're going to use a lot of natural ingredients a lot because in any event when you have a flood Mm -hmm. exactly you understand what a flood is a flood is almost so you don't want a flood you want right you you want to have measured irrigation that is yes and so but there's a trick, right? So you mm-hmm. have a lot of innovation, a lot of experimentation. So we have to know the science behind the food and how we combine these ingredients, why these ingredients must be combined in a particular way since they have chemical reactions. But once we get past the science of it, then we can innovate and we have high flavors, long lasting in terms of small amounts go a very long way. So we don't have to use a lot of it in our in our meal preparation. And so in terms of value, even though we may pay a bit more for them, we get more in return as consumers. So we are encouraging our producers now to look at those types of products. But you see, because they are high value and high end type products, your packaging can be local, you know, like simple. It cannot look like the mass-produced product because it's going to be unfairly compared. And so you're going to see two bottles on the shelf that look the same. One is 1,000, one is 2,000, and so well, what this 2,000 one is for. So when we are creating those kind of products, we have to make sure that we follow through with the packaging solutions that we are using, ensure that 
packaging solutions are eco-friendly as well, mm -hmm. not just the ingredients. So you probably wouldn't be looking at plastic. You know, you would probably be looking at bottles because they can be recycled. You want to look at what we call biodegradable um, packaging solutions, high, high, high-end branding. So you have to pay a lot of attention to the full product right to the end. So when you walk into a Team Jamaican store, you're not necessarily going to be wanting to compete or compare the products that we sell with those in the supermarket, even though the supermarkets themselves have gone into creating, you know, retail spaces specifically for those types of products. But they are not to be fairly compared with the average product on the shelf because the level of detail that goes into the preparation of those products are very close to our traditional homemade things. So, you know, health-wise, you're looking at a very, very strong product. You may also find that they are not necessarily consistent. So we may see two bottles of the same product with different types of colors. That is just because it is using a natural, a more natural way of preparing it while the industrialized type of product may use artificial ingredients to stabilize things like color and taste to get the same profile every single time. Mm -hmm. But with, with specialty foods, you won't find that. Right. You will find some variation, and that's simply because it is closer to the way nature behaves. Right, right. And so, we, so, so those are type, the types so of So what you really want, though, is... The, is a, con a level of consistency, nonetheless, which is within a curve. So, you know, right. it's, it's not going to be identical because it's not mass production. It's not, and that's not what you want. You want uniqueness, knowing that, yes, it is something that is similar to the one that was, that was produced before, and it's mm -hmm. in the range. So, you know, that it's never going to be below a certain standard, nonetheless. Right. But you are going to have something that even in the sm smallest of details might be different, slightly, but it's still high, slightly. high quality. Right, and you may run out of it from time to time yes. too because yes. the ingredients are seasonal and because they're not preserved, right. yes. they may not be available at some time times of the year. Yes. So, um, you know, it's really to highlight those kinds of products because I think that is where Jamaica is uniquely poised to be competing. Our raw materials are significantly potent in terms of nutrients and yes. how they are grown. However, you may also look at the fact that they wouldn't have a long shelf life so you may not see them on the shelf for a long time unless they're using processes like solar dehydration which is something that we also encourage so we have a, a number of products out now that are replacing traditional flour mm -hmm. which has no gluten in it so you find that the, the science behind the food is allowing us to understand how to process those products to extend things like shelf life. So certainly dehydration is a, a good way because it's using nature just the same. It's still not heavily processed. And we have things like Scotch bonnet pepper now. We have a brand called Liberton, for example. Who is what? In Liberton. It's a brand of... How do you spell that? It's L-I-B-E-R-T-O-N. Okay. Okay. Yes, and I recall um, interacting with this uh, interaction with this client when he allowed us to sample the seasoning. It would be like an all-purpose wet seasoning, and he was sampling it raw. It wasn't being cooked, and he explained that that was because of the, the nature of the ingredients being used. You could actually eat it raw, and it would be still healthy to do so. So you would find now that learning how to dehydrate things like onion and mm -hmm. garlic and nutmeg and yes. you know all these things that you have to grate right you mm -hmm. don't have to do that anymore because you are getting the powdered version of it right. it's it's still not adding any preservatives but it's giving you enough format yes. that is more content and that's you know and that's and that's really the next level though because one of the things that have been bothering me as a person who's not an agriculturist is that Today you have feast and tomorrow you have famine for the same product. So you will have a glut. I mean, like within the same year. So right. you will have a glut of, say, tomatoes or mm -hmm. jackfruit or otaiti apples, right? Yeah. And then, you know, jackfruit and otaiti apples, um, they tend to be, 
they're sporadic they're not as right but later on you know like something like tomato which is a, like kind of like a staple mm-hmm. it's just missing is it you have shortages etc and you're here but hold on but this is like now it's november i remember in april you had you know Except, you, had, you, you yes. couldn't find a dog in a town because we were stoning yeah. dogs with them right yeah. and so that preserving that next step is a big yeah. deal yeah it's a huge deal yeah. and and it allows us to think to of planning where agriculture right. is concerned because now we're getting into christmas we should have a, a wide array of dried soil for example mm-hmm. and we should be able to be making our soil drink without using some of the picking and yeah, all of that yeah. that we are so accustomed to but we are not concentrating all those things i'm just even thinking yes, about that yeah, yes yeah. and even to to dry the soil it gives you access to it right. year round mm-hmm. so you know if we can really focus on these types of products i think we would be on to something special plus we have very unique and traditional ways of preparing it so that is what now brings in the whole brand jamaica element yes, right. and when you start to share your recipes and so on the products become more relevant to the international consumer well, and that's how you get it well oh. well said so and of course as i said before you know i've been paying attention to y- your work the your organization work since the inception great set of public servants um you know, I'm just very flat. I'm very happy to know I, I I live in a country where your entity exists. But if you want additional information, and you're listening, by the way, you can get it at the JBDC. And how do we get that? How do we reach you? Well, we are at 14 Camp Road. We are online at www.jbdc.net. If you want to find more of these types of products, you can go on www.thinkjamaicanshopping.com and you can visit us at our stores. We have a store in Devon House, on the Devon House ground, Things Jamaican. We are at 14 Camp Road with our corporate store and we are also in the Norman Manley International Airport and, of course, on Amazon and eBay as well. All right. Well, I want to tell you thank you so much for your service. Thanks so much also for the regular conversations that we have on this feature. And every day we learn more. Janine Fletcher Taylor, marketing, sorry, manager of the Marketing Services Unit at the JBDC. Thank you very much for being with us. We just did Grow Your Business, weekly feature um, from the JBDC.